Welcome and good evening and a Merry Christmas. I'm glad you're here to join us for a service of lessons and carols on this Christmas Eve together. May God be with you and yours this day and tomorrow on that very special day, and God's blessing and presence be with you. Good evening and welcome. Please join with me this evening in our call to worship. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Silent night, holy night, wondrous star, lend thy light. Christ the Savior is born. share this evening the greeting of Jesus with one another, that greeting that he gave whenever he met people on his journey and his ministry, a greeting that says, welcome, I'm glad to see you, a greeting that says, well-being, well-being will be with you this evening 
and each and every day. A greeting that says peace, peace on earth and goodwill towards all. And I invite you to share that simple word with those who have gathered with you. The word is shalom. The shalom of Christ. His welcome, his greeting, his peace. Shalom. Shalom. Christ be with you this day. Shalom in Christ. Amen. <laughs> I invite you to share with me our prayer of preparation. Holy God, we praise thy name. We thank you for the blessings of each day. We thank you for your guiding light that enables us to navigate our path. Help us to be a blessing to others and to care for one another. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. I invite you now to share with me our Lord's Prayer, the prayer that Jesus taught us to pray, saying, Together, our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. As is our tradition, we light the Advent candles to let the light shine in the darkness that the light of God is coming into the world in Jesus Christ. And during Advent, we light the four Advent candles to be a reminder of God's presence with us. Christ's journey with us from childhood on to remember Mary light a light that guides us to hope and peace and joy. Amen. Laura and I wish you a very Merry Christmas. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke of the birth of the Messiah. Luke chapter 2, verses 1 to 7. In those days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own tongues to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David called Bethlehem, because he was descended the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. The end of the first lesson.
A reading from the Gospel according to Luke of the wonder and awe of the shepherds. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and had gone to heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. according to Matthew of the Visitation of the Magi. In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word, so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there ahead of them went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. 
Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. I invite you to lift up your prayers as I lift up our Christmas prayer. A star shines in the sky and travels to a place where a child is to be born. This is a night like no other, ushering in a child who will bring peace and love to the world. The government shall be upon his shoulder. His dominion and power shall have no end. Thank you for your Son who fills our hearts with joy and guides our steps throughout this season and all seasons. Like the Magi, we will follow his star and feed on the power of his love and light. Amen.
A reading this evening from the Gospel according to John of the Incarnation of the Messiah. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life. And the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become the children of God. This evening, we light the Christ candle candle that tells us that the light shines in the darkness and the darkness can never put it out and in that light there is the good news that we who believe have become and are God's children. Amen. Thank you.
Let me invite you to share with me this evening the Christmas blessing. Let us share it together. We are the children of a loving and caring God. We rejoice and are glad that a Savior has come to earth for us. The blessing of a miracle for all times has taken place. The child of God has come to each of us with joy and hope. Jesus is born for us, and God's blessing to us this night is the star that shines in us this night. May the blessings we receive this Christmas be blessings for all and forever in Jesus. And we proclaim a Merry Christmas to all. Benediction is very simple tonight. It is a simple blessing. Written many years ago by an American theologian named Samuel Clements. I am sure you are familiar with this benediction as I share it with you. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. 